So Viola, what was it like to transform into an action hero for this part? It's a really terrific performance from you. It's so ferocious. Terrifying, humbling, but ultimately extraordinarily satisfying. You know, I, I'm definitely, I definitely would be under the headline of humble, someone who, I mean, I shrink from compliments. I'm very much an introvert, I'm shy, I'm all of those things. But this is a one role where I would get on the phone with all my friends, especially one from Juilliard, and say, you know what I did today? <laughs> what did you do? That? You, what you you <laughs> you cooked a coconut cake? Well, look. Let me tell you something. What I did? <laughs> I became braggadocious. I had a swagger mm, with this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> we are the homies. Yeah! There was so many moments where I just I couldn't believe that I was just seeing her transform into this person, but also because of her attributes she turned into Naniska for me. I was like, that's our general. She's in charge, she's got it. Now that she's here, we'll be good. She, you know, commands a leadership without having to command it um, because mm -hmm. she leads by example and because everyone so admires her and because she's a true professional as well and she's really dedicated to the craft. So I think you just get that for free by osmosis. She's actually really funny. She's really <laughs> fun. Yeah. She, you know, there were moments where, you know, the levity that I found working with Viola really actually helped keep me grounded because it was a difficult shoot and it could sometimes be overwhelming. And I think just kind of looking over at her and she was doing something silly. Oh yeah, no, she enjoyed it. She enjoyed, you enjoyed it. It Too was so. hard. It was hard, but, but we were achieving great things. Right? And Gina was always about, yeah, more swag, I'm more this, this, this. And you go, I should have asked for more money. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Don't tell people that. Don't tell people our business. <laughs> <laughs> because it was hard. Oh, but man, I, I, I like, actually really enjoyed it. Because yeah. we were mm -hmm. doing some amazing things that we never could have we imagined. All, yeah. Yeah. We all had swagger. I mean, yeah. come on. My king, the Europeans wish to conquer us. They will not stop until the whole of Africa is theirs. We must fight back. One of the really dramatic things about the film is the way it deals with Africa's role in the slave trade. I thought that was really well handled in the movie. What was it like dealing with that history? And is it hard to confront that history in, in, in the context of this? It was important to tell the truth. And I knew going in that that's what we were going to do. Um, but also I knew it's part of the story, but it's not the whole story. And at the end of the day, we wanted to can tell the story of these incredible women who defended the kingdom. They were the elite force um, that were there to protect and ultimately save the kingdom. And it was a chance to just show another side of Africa that we don't get to see the beauty of it, the kings, the warriors. Um, that's, that's something that's been missing from so many narratives and it was exciting to be able to do that. To a certain extent, I think definitely you, you have your natural um, uh, opinions about that kind of circumstance and about that kind of trade. Um, but at the same time for the integrity of, of the film and for how Gina actually uh, put that into the narrative and explored it, I was just like, yeah, this is something that you kind of have to put yourself to the side and commit to, to what the narrative is. Um, and also for the audience, to show this truth, this error to the audience, you have to be a character that's kind of like involved in that time and, and looks as if he sees that as a normality to a certain extent. Um, and that in itself, me doing that as an actor, um, and bypassing my own opinions, you know, it brings the truth to the audience for them to, to see what the circumstance was at the time. It's difficult because it's a part of the themes of, of the movie, you know, sort of. There's a lot of themes in the movie that were difficult. Yeah. You know, the mother-daughter scenes are difficult. You know, the watching and, and, and giving the women the speech, knowing that most of them mm -hmm. probably would die. All of it, you know, is, is uh, very difficult. I mean, the, that element, the slavery element, is one, one aspect of the movie. You're asking me to take them to war. War. Some things are worth fighting for. Don't know.